Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chatting with the Experts TV show with me, Paula O'Connor, your host. Every week, I bring to you exciting people that will teach you, educate you, inspire you, so that at the end of the show, you would have learned something new. And this show is not just for women in the United States, but it's for women globally. Because I learn something new every day, and so do you. The title of this episode is The ABCs of AI Part 2. And why is it Part 2? Because we did an episode about two weeks ago on the real magic of AI, in which my guest, Angela Heath, oh, she taught us so much about chat GPT and how to tame it so that it acts and behaves like, or works, I should say, as a personal assistant. Today, she's on again, and we will be talking about how to use AI to generate a customer avatar that you can use for your marketing, for targeting your customers, and also how to use AI to customize your social media reels. And with that, I want to welcome Angela Heath to part two of AI. Angela, thank you so much for saying yes and for coming on again. Hello, podcast Paula. It is my pleasure to be with you again. Well, part one was such a hit that you and I knew we needed to do part two. And we, I know we ended the first recording by saying, mm, we'll do a part one, but we weren't sure. But there's been demand for part two. So here you are. Thank you. Okay. So I'll tell you a little bit about her. Or maybe let me let you this time. I mean, we did a part one already. So just tell us a little bit about you. Just a snippet of all the marvelous things that you do before we launch into what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Well, I am a speaker, trainer, author, and I am an AI enthusiast. So I help people become self-employed and help the self-employed people grow their businesses by creating a book that makes them stand out in the industry so they can get media attention, profitable partnerships, attract more customers. And I'm also the owner of the AI Biz Generators and a non-techie tech. And if I can create something from AI to sell, so can you. I agree. I totally agree. So you talked about how we can customize a chat GPT as business owners and use that for targeting our customers and for marketing to them. Can you do that? Really? Absolutely. You ready to get started? Ready. I'm so excited. So here goes. Okay. So we're going to go back to chat GPT. The reason I love to start with ChatGPT, because I call ChatGPT grandpa. <laughs> grandpa. You know, OpenAI is the one that actually made these tools available to us. So I love to call it grandpa. So let's go over to grandpa. And... We talked a little bit in part one about these GPTs, that these are customized. Now, if you don't have the paid version, you won't be able to create your own. These are custom instructions where you train the um, AI on your information. You tell it, I want you to do X, Y, and Z. And this is step one, this is step two, and this is step three. And it will follow your instructions and it will even prompt the person who's using it. It will prompt them. So let's go over to explore GPTs. And I encourage everybody, go over there and see all of these wonderful tools that are available to you. So we're talking about customer avatars. So we just put up in the search box customer avatar we all know how important understanding our customer really is because when we understand our customer then we will respond to their needs 
in a very specific way that will draw them into us and let them know, yeah, we're the person who can help you. So I just put the search name in, customer avatar. Oops, sorry. And I wanted you to see, look at all the possibilities. Wow. Look at all of these possibilities. And there are more. It, 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 I feel like it almost never ends because you can see more. Let's just choose. Let's just choose the one up at the top. And it says, this is a bot that's going to help you clearly identify your ideal customer avatar. And let's take a look at that tool. Is my chat GPT slow today or is it working? Okay, there you go. Start chat. Now, we have two options for where we can get started. It's asking us, how do you want to get started? And it's also um, saying, help me learn more about your customer. Now, with all of these customer avatars, you have to give it some information. You've got to give it some information so it can get started. So let's give it a little bit of information here. You just click on, let's get started. It's going to tell you everything it will produce for you. So it's going to do demographics, psychographics, personality traits, behavior characteristics, branding, fears, pain points, all of the things that we would then create a wonderful targeted marketing program. So Angelo, did you tell it anything or you just, I mean, these are kind of like generic. It knows that these are things that humans face, you know, brand interaction, fears and frustration, pain points. These are the for the way this guy created this gpt this is the profile oh okay. that once we tell this tool a little bit about who you're targeting this is what is going to produce for you gotcha all of these points okay and we're going to use those to help us with marketing so right. the first go ahead i'm sorry no i said all right let's go all right it said we can answer these questions one at a time so it can build the profile for us. So the first two questions says our gender and occupation and income. We just put that information down here. So let's say it's a female. What your customers, who do they tend to be? Female? They tend to be female over 40. Over 40. Any particular occupation? Not well, entrepreneurs for the most part. Okay, entrepreneurs. And then we're going, it also asks, what's their average annual income? Ooh, let's just guess. Uh, I'll say um, 100,000. Okay, 100,000. You've got a high end avatar because believe it a lot or not, only 14% of businesses in the U.S. bring in $100,000 or more. Isn't that really ridiculous? 14. Anyway, wow. Yeah. So we push enter and everything that we tell it is going to build it right in. Now, this is just one tool. And if you look at it, it's asking us to fill out all of this information so it can build this avatar for us. That's the way many of these tools work. But for me, I feel like that if I already know all of this information, what am I using the tool for? You get what I mean? Yeah. I already know you're asking me questions. What's the geographic location? If I already know that, I don't really need any kind of generator. So let me show you uh, my tool. Okay, because I was going to say, how do you, uh, you know, kind of filter that? So I guess this is why you're showing me your tool. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them will ask you a bunch of questions. But mm -hmm. if you already know the answers, you don't need a tool. You already know who your customer, you know everything about your customer avatar. So the way we build our tool is you only have to answer a few questions because what this tool is going to do is the description that you provide and what you are selling, it's actually going out there to find the people, 
who are actually looking for the service. And it's going to tell us who those people are. So let's do your avatar. Paula, you said it's a woman, 40 and older. Mm -hmm. You said they're making a hundred grand. I threw that up. I told you I was pulling a figure right now. And you said they're entrepreneurs. Yes. Do you know anything else about them? Anything at all? Do you know anything about their psychographics? What are some of their dreams? So these are women who have, for the most part, they're going to be empty nesters or they're already empty nesters. Mm -hmm. and they want to have a business that enables them to travel. Okay. So they can work remotely, in other words. Okay. With their business. Okay. And what are you selling to your customer? Because we want to make sure that these folks who are interested in what you are selling, that's where we want that intersection to come in. So what would you be selling or how would you be helping? So your... for most of them, I am coaching them. Mm -hmm. And business coaching, business coaching. Uh huh. And that's it for the most part. And a, a majority of them, you know, they want to work remotely, but they're still a bit uncomfortable with technology. So getting them comfortable with technology. Okay. So I'm going to say business coaching and technology. That's I'm just going to say coaching. Yes. And are you talking to women all across the country or particular region or what? It's global. So, you know, my audience tends to be from, and I say global because it's Africa and the Caribbean and anywhere in between. Okay. Let's say global. All right. So now this is what makes this tool a little bit different. It didn't ask you a lot, right? It yeah. has to get a feel for some of who you're targeting in order to create all of this great information. It gives you two avatars because they're segments of our audience, right? We've got one segment that looks a certain way and then we have another segment that looks slightly different. Everybody has segments. And that's one thing that is important for us to remember, because sometimes when we're targeting our main segment, you've heard people say, I don't want to leave anybody out. You're not going to leave anybody out. You've got limited time, money, and energy. Target the person that really needs you. So it'll give you some information about who this customer avatar is that you're gonna use for marketing. So we told it, okay, it loves to travel, the personal growth, financial success. Here are some of the really important things that we wanna make sure we focus on as we work with these people. Those five most urgent goals. We wanna make sure that we're helping them. Now, this is supposed to be a combination of what you're selling and what they want. So you should be able to help them to expand their business, enhance their leadership skills, increase their revenue streams. And here's their pain points. You should be able to speak directly to these pain points. So if they are feeling overwhelmed, they're lacking that balance in their lives, they're not certain how to expand globally, and they might even be feeling a little depressed because of the empty nest. These things get into the heads of our audience, and that's what we want our marketing to do. So there's like 23 data points here that would be important for us to understand as we begin to build out our marketing campaign. But it goes on to tell you their values. It tells you where do they get credible information from. It tells us all of those things, which are very important. And this is the part I like too. What are the five products 
that they would probably be looking for from you. They're yeah. looking for, yes, your business coaching program, your leadership development course, your international business expansion toolkit, your time management app, your personal growth retreat. These are the next best offer, giving your skill set in terms of what you're offering and who they are. So when we see this, we want to do a little more investigation to make sure that this is accurate because some of these ideas might be golden for you. And it goes on to give you a lot of other details and it gives you another segment. And this woman is a master's level entrepreneur. She's doing pretty good. She's making $150,000. Now she's going to have some different needs, right? So this is the, the beauty of getting an avatar. I'm going to use this first one. All right. So very quick question. So we initially started off with one that gave us so many different possibilities for our avatar, for building our avatar, but you narrowed it down. I'm assuming you, you took some of those and you narrowed it down to this particular tool. You created this particular tool to, yeah. because you knew your customer. I created this tool because my customer is a person who's 45 years old becoming self-employed and they are afraid of AI. So when I was teaching chat GPT to my audience, they were getting a little confused about how to use it. I created a whole suite of business app uh, generators so that you don't have to keep prompting and prompting and prompting. You can just put a little bit of information in and it produces results for you. Got you. And uh, I need to point out to the listeners and viewers that Angela considers herself non-techie. And so basically what you are saying is that if you can do this, so can they. Anybody can do this. There are tools now, they call them no code tools that we can all learn to use. And you can add that as a stream of income. So for example, Paula, you could create a set of tools for your customer avatar, tools that address those pain points, tools that take them on their customer journey so you can see every step along the way, what they are doing and what they need. You can do that yourself. You'll be amazed at what we could do with AI. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So let's continue. Okay. So let's take your avatar. And since you have two, I'm just going to copy and paste. Most of the time I don't have to copy and paste. This time it gave us two. I'm just going to copy this. And we're going right back over to grandpa. We're going to start a fresh chat because we don't want that anymore. Any of these tools that is causing us to do all of the work, we want to try to use AI to avoid it. So we, we have this avatar. So now we want to say, create a custom marketing campaign for the following avatar. Our goal is to, what's the goal, like the first step you want people to take with you? You know, to realize this now that they can use AI for themselves. Like you said that the, the people that you were coaching, 45 years old and upwards, were getting confused with AI. Mm -hmm. I want to do the similar thing. Our goal is to let them know that there's freedom using AI for their own business. So not to be afraid of AI. Our goal is to, but what offer? What's the first thing they do when they work with you? Do they come right into your coaching program or do they come into something else? 
Oh, they come straight into the coaching program. Okay. okay. So our goal is to attract them into, that's what a marketing goal is for business purposes. So our goal is to attract them into your coaching program. And once they get there, then you can tell them, hey, you can use AI, you can do this, you can travel, you can remote. Our goal is to attract the customer into a paid coaching program. And I am going to put the avatar in. So I told it what I wanted to do. Here is the customer avatar. Okay. All right, and I'm just going to paste all of that right in there and say, let's go build me a marketing plan. So now it knows everything about who we're trying to reach and it is going to give us a summary of who this person is, right? And now it came up with messages based on who the person is. Now it's giving you a content strategy based on who the person is and the fact that your goal is to get them into your coaching program. Now it's telling you how to build trust. Now it's telling you how to build your referral program because that's going to be one of the ways you get them into your coaching program. So it's giving you all of what you need. Now, let's just say you look at this and you say, this is fantastic. I love these messages, these blog posts, these webinars, any of this you can take and say, give me more details. So you can say, I want to do a webinar on achieve work-life balance, practical tips for busy entrepreneurs. That doesn't sound interesting. Let's see. I don't like any of those topics for those uh, webinars. So we're going to just take this and highlight it because this is something that is said they would recommend that we do. Going back down to the chat box, we're going to say provide or generate, it doesn't matter, generate a detailed implementation strategy. to attract women into my coaching program. Uh, using this tactic. And all I'm gonna do is just paste in the piece that is said about webinars, right? It said that webinars and workshops live on the relevant topic are, is going to appeal to your avatar. It'll be one way for you to get them into your coaching program. So now it's going to build out my implementation strategy. It's telling us what topics to cover, what plans need to be in place, how we're going to promote it, even our registration process, all of the content we need to develop in our execution plan. It's got your follow-up, your call to action, the metrics you need. This is complete. All you have to do is now follow this. It's even spelling it out. You're going to plan for three months and these Ooh. are the things you're going to do over those three months. Isn't that great? This is awesome. I yeah. love that. So this is the value of understanding your avatar. And then once you understand this avatar, you will be able to pinpoint all of your promotions, your content, your educational program, any kind of programs that you create new will take all of who you're serving into perspective. So you are creating something that they want that you know is going to solve their problem. Isn't this awesome? This is great. All right. So there's That's a solution. I love about AI. Yeah. I mean, we can do, you know, let me tell you, I had a customer who used to work for a small business development center. 
And when he saw what I did with just this one tool, he said, Angela, we hired somebody to come in and develop this whole thing. We paid them $40,000. Now, of course, they would generate more than this. Cause you know, when we come in and we have, you know, the marketing gurus come in, we end up with the playbook about this thick. It's got our fonts and our branding and, you know, it's got all our message. It's got all of that. You can develop this out of what we're doing right now. You just have to go piece by piece and expand it. But most of the time, Paula, we don't need all of that. Right here, what we've gotten right here is enough wow. of us to do a really good job. If we want to know one of the blog posts that it recommended, we just highlight it and put it down there and say, hey, give me a blog post on this subject, targeting this person. My goal is to get them in the coaching program. But again, we do need to point out, like we said in part one, that no matter what AI generates, you need to use that as your starting point. Don't just copy it verbatim and just implement it. Look at it. You still need to customize it to suit your human person. Because Absolutely. this has been generated. It's kind of like you can say generic, but at least it's a starting point. Correct? Yes, absolutely. All of this that we're going to take out of AI, you know, we're going to vet all of the numbers. We're going to maybe even if it's some idea of a new product or service we want to offer, we're going to go to our clients and say, hey, I'm thinking about offering X, Y, Z. Give me some feedback on that. Go to your existing clients. Client. When you're in networking groups, you can throw it out in small groups. Hey, I'm thinking about starting this new blah, blah, blah. I'd love to, to connect with people, get some feedback. You do your customer research always. always. Do your customer research. We want that to be something that you do realize. You still got to do some work. You're just making it easier, but you still do have to, you still have to do some work. All right. So there's so much else to learn and time is ticking by. We said, or we promised to show you how to create reels, social media reels. Yes. We have time for that. We've got a quick time for that. Now this is right now, it's a free tool right now. But when you use free, it's going to be slow. So I'm not even sure if we'll be able to you know, get through the whole thing. But what this Opus clip does, you can upload a short video and it's going to turn it into social media reels. Okay, right so now- Quick question, Andrea. Sorry to cut you short. Mm -hmm. Opus clip, mm -hmm. is that part of chat? Open AI? Is it part of chat GPT? How do we get this Opus clip? You just got to go to opus.com, its own tool. It's not part of ChatGPT. Okay, all right. Great to know that. Okay, let's keep going. And it's so easy. You just choose a video. You're going to go over and open up a video. I've done it with a video that has been like, you know, I did one for 30 minutes. I was trying to see if I could find one that was much shorter for this demo and maybe it'll generate. That's it. There's nothing else for me to do. So, so it's going to upload it and it is going to generate up to, now this is I think about a nine minute clip that I'm uploading. So it will generate up to 100 clips that's the max for whatever you upload wait a minute wait a minute i'm so blown away by this that i can't even speak properly so you went to you uploaded a nine minute clip of a pre-recorded video and from that is going to segment it into multiple reels is that what you're saying it is up to 100 it wow. can give you up to 100 and this is the thing it can add anything that you need to add to it. Now, of course, I'm on the free version, so I don't have access to the power of it, but it can do your hashtags. It can generate all kinds of things. Here's some examples of 
you know, what you can do with it. Right. So these aren't ours because ours is still uh, generating, but I should have said to do the captions, but I didn't want to take so long for it to generate because I hope that we'll be able to see something before we end. But this is just one of many tools that are out there. There are many, but I like this because I thought it was easy to use. I am always looking for free tools that are easy to use. And I was going to see, here's my 30 minute one. I'll show you what it did for my 30 minute one. Look, it did 99. Oh. And right. so they out of 99, I don't like 45. So what? Right. <laughs> I still have over a month. Like, I know I'm not going to like this because you see how it's cut off. Yeah. This is me giving a demo. So I won't even look at that one. I'll go down. Look at that. I don't like the way my face looks. I'm okay, going to so go that's down. The close up. Okay. <laughs> that's a close up. <laughs> look at <Right>? that one. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one. Let's look that at looks this. a little better. Let me uh, turn on the share sound so at least you can hear that what it sounds like okay let's listen and so when we go over to perplexity ai it's going to give us the source right in its response so we don't have to be concerned about that and so when we go over to perplexity ai it's going to give us the source okay, so this is like an right in seconds. You, so it will give you like up to a minute it just depends on where you where it, it's cutting off. Okay. With the, the paid version, you can give it keywords. And so it will clip according to your keywords. Uh, you, because of course it generates a transcript. Yeah. And it's pulling from the transcript. Let's see what this says. <laughs> hey, how are you? Quick. Hey, Angela. Happy Monday to you and your audience. Um, I'm, I'm just loving having the opportunity to listen to you. And I uh, just wanted to say for everybody, anybody who's going to have the opportunity to hear this, know that Angela Heath knows what she's talking about. Hey, how are you? <laughs> See, that would be a good promotion, Angela, right? Hey. Yeah. Great Jesus. promotion. Yes. Okay. It's free. I can download this. And I can load it into my social media manager. And I've got all of these. This is free. Oh, clips. Yeah. One last one. Let's see what this is. I don't even try to do that anymore because every day that I breathe, there's numerous tools being introduced. But what I want to say to you is that it's a continuous learning process. But this is the way you get your tools i don't even try to do that anymore oh, because every day that there but you get the drift of this this is fan is powerful this is powerful because I, I like that clip in particular because it it showed you okay i need to show up there we go it it gave us an opportunity to see that it read through the it's reading through the transcripts and in turn pulling up some really good clips, you know, th that you can use. Yeah. That one, that last one, I mean, made me lean in to say, okay, what's she talking about? I wanted to know what she's talking about. Yeah. But when you have the free version, it's going to take a while for the clips to generate because of course the paid people go before you. So when I was just looking over real quickly to see if our new one was done and it's not done yet. So all of the people with the paid version got in front of us. <laughs> That's all right. But you were able to demonstrate to us, I mean, what can be done. So at least we know the possibilities, I mean, and how it functions. And here's the deal. This is my final thought. And I said this on the first one, but I think it bears repeating. A lot of people are afraid of AI because every time we listen to the news or something negative and AI is a tool like a hammer, 
you can use a hammer to build a beautiful home or you can use a hammer to bash in someone's head. But you don't blame the hammer. You blame the evil people. So yes, people are going to do some bad things with AI tools. We can't get around it. We, If we knew how to stop <laughs> crazy bad people, you know, we wouldn't even be living on earth. But don't be afraid. There's more good for those of you who don't have huge teams. Like I'm my only employee. I have subcontractors that I work with. They're part of my team, but I am the only employee. If you have a small team, don't say, oh, I'm going to get, you know, into this AI thing and then I'll fire one of my team members. No, don't fire them. Help your team members understand how to serve you better. So my VA, now she can do the work of two and a half VAs because she knows the shortcuts and the tools she can use to serve me better. I can get more work done. So don't get rid of people. Help the people to understand how to be more efficient and more effective and take advantage of these tools. A lot of these things won't even be free probably in a few months. So while they are, take advantage of them to grow your business. I think you hit the nail on the head when you said that do if you have a team, don't get rid of your team. Because I think that's where the fear is. Am I going to lose my job to AI? But you've addressed that. Use AI to teach your team how to be better at what you want them to do for you. Enhance your business, grow your business. You know, because as we said earlier on, even though you use AI in the first instance to create a custom avatar, even that needs to be tweaked. And you need somebody, you need human eyes on it to look yeah. through and make sure that it's actually relevant for your target audience or the person that, you know, or your particular client or customer. So AI, as you said, and part of what AI is here to stay but we've got to use it responsibly. Yes, I agree. Angela, this has been fantastic. I don't want to take any more of your time. I mean, I have learned so much and I know my guests have learned a lot from you. Tell us where we can find you online, please. You know, I hang out probably the most on LinkedIn. I am the real Angela Heath on LinkedIn, but I'm the creator of the AI Biz Generator. So you'll be able to find me over there. Wow. So LinkedIn is the place to look for her and look for the real Angela Heath. Not the false one, the real. <laughs> love it. I love it. And for those of you who have enjoyed what you just saw and would love to be a guest on my show, please reach out to me on my website, which is chatting with the You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. That's probably the best place to connect with me. Just search for Paula Okone. You'll find me there. I'm on Instagram at my handle is at chat underscore podcast. I always get this wrong. No, it's at chat underscore experts underscore podcast. And I'm on Facebook these days. Just look for Paula Okone. Thank you, Angela. Well, Thank you for having you. me. Absolutely. We may have to do a part three because part two was because of a demand. Part three may be like, would you say yes to that? Absolutely. I love this stuff. If you can't tell, I love it. And I love for small business owners to learn how to use it because the big businesses, Paula, they've been using this for over a decade or two. And we didn't know. Yeah. We're just getting a chance to get into it. Boy, oh boy, we learn something new every day. And this is evidence of that. Thank you again. You're welcome.